here to talk to you about Docker and uh, other, other services similar to it and why it's better than a virtual machine for certain things. Um, mainly what I'm here to talk about is the differences. So, basically, in a virtual machine, you have your your host operating system, you get your infrastructure, your physical computer, any servers, and any cloud, however you've set it up. And then you've got your host operating system that's just like, right now I'm running Windows, but if I was going to run a virtual machine off of my computer here, then I would go on to have the uh, just like interface and uh, stuff, and then the guest operating system comes in and exists as basically a second computer. It's um, running another computing uh, instance. So it's like my laptop is pretending that there is a computer basically running, running inside of it um, so I could run like, I don't know, Linux in the guest operating system in a virtual machine. And then just to show the rest of it, the app and the uh, libraries, bin, bins, all that stuff, that also exists for whatever service you're running off that virtual machine. Um, and the difference with Docker is basically the lack of mm -hmm. an operating system. It is simply using the Docker engine to just run these apps themselves in a similar way that the virtual machine would be running them, but this does not require a operating system to be run on top of your original host operating system. So therefore, the, the main point of this graphic that I've created is the fact that the Docker container sort of processes, they are much smaller. They don't have this big operating system that they have to run additionally. So that's so much more space that can be, and so much more power that can be put towards these apps. Additionally, um, Docker containers can just be run when they're needed. Um, they can be spun up just at a whim, at a command. And that really cause like that that really uh saves time saves energy so with a virtual machine you're running it constantly waiting on these apps to be run but with the container and the docker system you really only have to be running these apps when they're being called in when you want to run them they don't have they they just get created and then they go back down and it's surprisingly much uh much faster that way instead of just having it always running and uh, taking up taking up processing power there. I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something. Thank you.